That's better. All right, there, that's better. All right. Hey, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Welcome. Christmas. Merry, wait a minute, excuse me a second. <laughs> I messed him up. All right, that's all right. No, uh, Merry <laughs> Christmas from the Intelligent Donkey and... Nana Shenanigans. Yes, and we're going to uh, listen to a very special piece of music. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing it with Luna Rosa, as you'll hear, and I think it's a perfect way of doing a Music Monday when Christmas happens to actually fall on a Monday this year. Cool. Want to add, add your uh, extra message for Christmas? You didn't give me the assignment Well, till now. That's because this is all <laughs> supposed to be spontaneous. <laughs> oh, that's what you meant by spontaneous. Yes. Well, spontaneous combustion, you know. Uh, I would like to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. Everybody who is traveling, please be safe. Yes. Uh, no drinking and driving. We don't want any tragedies to happen here on Christmas. We want everybody to enjoy the day, enjoy your families, uh, enjoy your church services. We want everybody to enjoy Christmas. Amen. And I'll, we just pray for everybody to have the peace on earth that was talked to about yes. us uh, at Christmas time. Uh, Luke chapter 2, read it sometime and you'll see what I'm talking about here. Be like uh, Linus mm -hmm. on Charlie Brown Christmas, giving us the true meaning of Christmas. Yes. And of course, don't be a donkey of limited intelligence. <laughs> nice plug. Nice plug. <laughs> It's better than being a dumb one. I'm chewing hot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Munch, 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 munch. Merry Christmas, everybody, from the Intelligent Donkey and from... Luna Rosa! Yay! That's me. <laughs> the dafter is here. We're actually at her house for some Christmas cheer here on Christmas Day. And Yay! we're going to... And we're wearing our sweaters. Let's talk about some Christmas music. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Well, this is a, a very special Christmas music reaction simply because it's a piece of music um, made up of a medley of, of familiar Christmas carols. Okay. Uh, at least most of them anyway. Let me tell you a quick little story. Uh, back in the early 70s, I'm thinking this would have been about 71 or 72, when I was just a... Uh, uh, a wee pre little lad. A wee little lad about to turn 13. Um, okay. Or some something to that effect here. A preteen, a tween, as they would say today. Stuff like that. My mom and dad, who owned a lot of records already, mm -hmm. bought, bought this gem <gasps> called Music to Trim Your Tree By. Now, this is just a... Uh, in many ways, it's just a very ordinary uh, Christmas song collection that everybody was buying. I have no idea how well this song sold or this uh, record uh, sold in the stores like that. But, you know, it's got all sorts of various artists here. It's got um, Vic Damone singing Deck the Halls. It's got the Boston Pops Orchestra doing Sleigh Ride. Everybody's heard that one. Of course, We Wish You a Merry Christmas by Marian Anderson. Chet Atkins playing a medley on guitar. Uh, the Coventry Carol, God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. Uh, and so on. I mean, there's, a, there's two sides of some of the most wonderful Christmas vinyl ever. Yay! Now, this is not the copy that my mom and dad still own. They still own it. Yeah. <laughs> they, so. still, they still own it. And I ran into this at a thrift store. Uh, and I was absolutely overjoyed because on there, among other things, and we're not going to be listening to the vinyl because Luna Rosa doesn't have a record player. What? Why well, don't I have a record player? Well, we'll just have to 
work on that sometime. I own records. And I don't have no record problem. Okay. <laughs> well, well, I didn't get her that for Christmas, but uh, oh, maybe shucks. with the Christmas uh, money, or something <laughs> like that, you, can, you can buy yourself a turntable. Yay! The point is, is that one of the songs on there became especially uh, special to me. Uh, let me get the exact name again of the uh, artist who plays it. But it is uh, Dick Liebert at the Radio City Music Hall Organ. All right, playing a medley of Christmas songs, uh, all but one of which are very easy to recognize. There's one on there called Under the Christmas Mistletoe that I had never heard before I heard that version. I've not heard it since. Oh, and but, so uh, maybe it might be something that he did. Maybe just something that. that he did himself, uh, perhaps. But the, the point is, is that... Uh, I loved that organ medley. The organ medley is not played on just like a Hammond organ or something like that. This is on the mighty Wurlitzer organ at the Radio City Music Hall in New York City. We're talking about the largest musical instrument in the world. Wow. And at that venue, I don't know if it was actually recorded as part of the so-called Christmas Spectacular that they do every year, still do actually, with the Rockettes. Oh. You'll see the Rockettes, actually, in this video, but just in a, in a series of stills. The Rockettes. The Rockettes, yeah, doing their famous kick dance, and, and it's just it's just great. And they do it, and they're all dressed in, in red and green, mm -hmm. so da-da, duh. duh. It's, <laughs> it's Christmas. It's Christmas. Goofy Yay. hat. Goofy hat and all here. <laughs> um, but that medley uh, stuck with me as being one of the most wonderful pieces of music Ever I, the the grand the size of that organ. I mean, it would not fit in this house. I that I don't doubt. <laughs> I mean, the, the instrument is absolutely huge. I don't know if it's still there. So please comment below if you know hmm. whether or not that Wurlitzer organ is still there and still in operation. I, would I, hope I really so. hope it is because it's an absolutely magnificent instrument, and uh, the organist Dick Liebert. Um, plays it on this recording, which was made, actually, originally in 1958. And then the album Music to Trim Your Tree By came out in 1966, but I happen to know that we didn't buy it until about 1971 or two, either mm. which way. Um, what it did, though, when we did buy it, is that it inspired me to attempt largely the same thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I played it with different uh, songs. I played it with some different Christmas songs in a church setting, so I, I kept it a little bit more appropriate. You know, I didn't do Deck the Halls, for instance, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, in mm -hmm, church, mm -hmm, uh, although I wouldn't, nobody would have minded if I did. <laughs> but I did try to end it with the same song. I did, in fact, I did play the first Noel as the concluding piece of the medley that I played um, and in 1979, so you know, X number of years later, I was uh, an adult by that time. And um, it was very well received like that, even though it doesn't uh, compare even slightly to, to this home. magnificent version from uh, Dick Liebert. So that's what we're going to listen to today for Christmas. We're going to listen to the organ medley from Dick Liebert at Radio City Music Hall. And so I'll turn the... Uh, now, uh, you probably don't know the answer to this. Have you looked up other, has Dick Lieber done other things? I mean, obviously he's an amazing organist. He was the, yeah, he was the official organist at Radio City Music Hall from the, uh, from the early 1950s until sometime in the late 60s, I think. Um, I don't know a lot of else about him or okay. what else he did. Uh, he did... Uh, record actually an album called um, uh, Music from the Mighty Wurlitzer or something like that. So he actually mm. used that term, the Mighty Wurlitzer. That's organ, amazing. Like that. And I guess it was a, a fairly well-known and popular album in its day. His, his main claim to fame, though, is the 1950s and 60s. Like that. So Interesting. On okay. with the uh, headphones... On with the little window here, and let's listen to this incredible medley of songs. All right. Go Dick Liebert! <laughs> That's where 
it was. Yeah. I heard that the Rockettes all have to be uh, the exact same height. Mm -hmm. Five, seven, and a half. Which means something. I could be a Rockette. Huh? I could be a Rockette. Because that's your height. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same, but Same as my wife, known as Nana on Nana Shenanigans. As you can see, you can see why. Look yes. at how How amazing. even that is. Yes, yep. how Straight even line. The, uh, it's hard to believe in some of these places. I mean, some of these songs that he plays, um, it's a little bit less of a surprise, but the thing that surprises me most throughout this whole thing is that this is one guy. Mm -hmm. There aren't multiple people. This is not a band. This is not an orchestra. He's doing this all on the one organ. Yep. Wow. Of course, there's multiple keyboards on that organ. You'll see a, a picture of it in this oh, video. Oh, good. I was hoping so. Good King Wenceslas. Hmm. Richard Weaver instead. Oh, okay. Using his full name. There it is. There's him. Yes, the bells are part of an organ. Wow. I could see that making sense. Like, because those tubes are bell-like. Yeah, it's like that. You just gotta punch the air through them like you would punch a, the ball. The this is actually you know, the, the, the mechanical thing for hitting the bells. <gasps> as part of the organ's uh, mechanics. That's awesome. There's the red and green. Hey, and this is obviously newer. Yeah.
This is the song that I'm not familiar with. Oh, okay. Uh, Under the Christmas Mistletoe. Under the Christmas I can hear the melody of it and how that would work with the lyric. The lyric, Under the Christmas Mistletoe, da 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 etc. Okay. <laughs> Yes. reading is only for something called Under the Mistletoe, which is a Christmas pop song. Yeah. Um, but yeah, nothing else is popping up. So if anybody knows if Richard or Dick Liebert wrote uh, Under the Christmas Mistletoe. Yeah, there's no information about it here except the title. Yep. So. Uh, let us know in the comments. And for now for the best part, too. Okay. We stopped it right there at the end of Under the Christmas Mistletoe. All right. Perfect timing, um, then. For, I almost get teared up Oh. thinking about it, because it's just so incredibly beautiful. Okay. All right. this before but this particular picture it must be newer obviously mm -hmm. uh, shows the screen for the Tony Awards which obviously take place at, at the Radio race. City no, Music Hall. Is the this is newer is the organ in this picture? Uh, no. Okay so maybe that means the organ is no longer there. No I'm I'm or, pretty sure that the most of the pipes are like mostly out of sight where oh. you can't actually see the performer. Okay.
beautiful. I loved that. That is so good. <laughs> now, wow. Yeah, I tried to, you know, he obviously changed up the harmonies, the chords, mm -hmm. uh, quite a bit there. And I tried to duplicate that, but <laughs> in the end, mostly on my version of it, played it straight. Well. But, um, and on an organ that was much smaller. Uh, it was a pipe organ, all okay. right. But uh, the pipe organ I played on only had two keyboards. So half the amount of keyboards. Half the amount of keyboards like that. So and, probably and half plus the amount I of pipes, too. Then. And I, I've never been skilled enough to actually uh, do it with the pedals. You know, the pedals oh. are another keyboard. So technically, so, he has five keyboards. Oh, my gosh. I had three. Um, and I did go back and forth between the two and occasionally had one hand on one part and one hand on mm -hmm. the other keyboard. Uh, like, as you could hear, uh, him changing up stops and stuff like that. But especially during that uh, concluding part of First Noel, you could hear him opening up more stops, like yes. wide open. And the volume is louder than a rock concert. Wow. Can you imagine that? No, I can't because well, I've never been to a rock concert. So. Oh, that's right. And you've probably never actually heard a pipe organ except for the one in church when you were a kid. Mm -hmm. But that was a very small pipe organ, too. Oh, yeah. I've I mean, only heard nice, the small ones. It was nice, but it was small. Mm -hmm. I've never been in a room with a big one, I don't with think. A big one. I may have gone to a, 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 a field trip, maybe. I remember going to classical music field trips, so we might have. Might have. Might yeah. have. But, and, of course, we heard... Uh, in, the, in Mahler's Second Symphony, mm -hmm. we heard a pipe organ there at the very end with the orchestra. So Absolutely. I want to, because I know we're all struggling right now with finances and, and things like that. Oh, yeah. So if you are needing cheap Christmas decorations, a really good idea is to get a piece of paper and write out the entire alphabet except for the letter L and then just hang it up. And then you just have Noel everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Merry everybody. Christmas. <laughs> we hope you and yours have a most wonderful holiday. Uh, and we hope to see you in the new year. We already have uh, a couple of videos already recorded for New Year's. Um, Yay! A new Year's double bill. Um, uh, and Luna Rosa and I have much more to come. Yay. So Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And uh, we'll see you in the next video sometime. I'm not even going to bother with the rest of it. All right. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>